Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak from thebitcoinpodcast.com here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today, I'm here to talk about BIP 148 UASF. A large group of Bitcoin users uh, plan to initiate a user activated soft fork, UASF for short. Now they're pushing for an update to Bitcoin's code, Bitcoin Improvement Proposal 148, BIP 148 for short. Now their plan is to reject Bitcoin blocks that don't signal for segregated witness, SegWit for short. And uh, basically on August 1st, Bitcoin's blockchain will be split into two. You'll have Bitcoin 148 BTC and Bitcoin's legacy BTC. The good news is that each Bitcoin would be copied onto both chains. You'll have one 148 BTC for every one legacy BTC. Now, if you hold Bitcoin right now, you you will hold uh, 148 BTC and legacy BTC after the split. Just make sure that you're using a wallet and holding your cryptocurrencies on a wallet that supports a split feature. Um, You know, splitting these tokens can be really tricky. And uh, the bad news is that this coin split could be messy and risky. And if you're not careful, you could lose all your coins. I mean, right now, it's basically hold if you can afford the risk. And if not, play it safe and maybe cash out. Um, You know, some of my thoughts on this right now, what you're going to see around now till August 1st is extreme, extreme price volatility. You're going to see a lot of price movement with this kind of a, you know news going around. This is going to create FUD, fear of uncertainty or doubt, which will only contribute to each other, the price swing and the fear and the fear into the price swing. Um, after that, you've got some other things that we can consider, like the exchanges and wallets are preparing for the fork. Um, you know, the, the, safest, the safest thing that you can do right now for your private keys is to get them off the exchange and onto a paper wallet or a hardware wallet, you know, uh, Ledger, Ledger is a good one, uh, Treasure, things like that. Um, let's see, uh, some of the things that I could you could expect uh, on August 1st or after August 1st is the fact that Bitcoin's price could hit zero or, you know, just disappear on exchanges because of this nerd war. So just be prepared for anything. Obviously, that's worst case scenario that things just disappear and your Bitcoin's just gone. But the possibility is there. It's just small. All right. Um, Maybe everything's fine. And 148 proposal goes through and 148 BTC is just BTC. And there was what they consider a temporary split Um, or maybe both tokens live forever and you have to basically you know split your bitcoin and choose between which version of bitcoin you want to use and you know have a wallet for btc 148 and a wallet for legacy btc stuff like that another thing to watch out for though are replay attacks um technically it's not really an intentional thing um you know it says attack but it's more of like an accidental transaction um you know that's when a transaction is picked up by both 148 BTC and legacy BTC nodes. And for example, like if the receiver of the transaction retransmits that transaction, then the transaction may be valid on both chains, basically making one coin stuck to the other coin and BTC 148 and BTC legacy are stuck together in a, in a transaction. I mean, even sending 148 BTC could mean you're sending you know, legacy BTC. So it's definitely something to consider. I would recommend not doing anything on August 1st or after August 1st, as far as sending Bitcoin or accepting Bitcoin. I think we should just wait it out and see what the nerds say. Um, Personally, I'm probably going to diversify my Bitcoin portfolio a little bit more, but I'm probably going to be holding some Bitcoin as well. So I'll help you go through the split if you're holding, um, because I'll be going through the same thing myself. Uh, Let's see. Some of the things to recap here are to uh, make sure that you control your private keys. If you're going to hold your Bitcoin, get it on a hardware wallet, get it on a paper wallet, something like this guy right here. You know, get that. Make sure your Bitcoin is off the exchange, though, because if the exchanges aren't prepared for this fork, 
that's where you're adding to that risk of your coin just disappearing. Um, another thing is to be on the safe side, don't make any transactions. Just don't send any Bitcoin or receive any Bitcoin. Try to, you know, stand still and watch the market, see what's happening with this split. And then, you know, last but not least, if there's still two tokens at the end of this war, uh, when the dust settles and there's, you know, 148 BTC and legacy BTC, um, just split your Bitcoin send your 148 to one wallet send your legacy bitcoin to another wallet you can either trade one for the other or hold both and if you need to refer to anything historically just look back at ether and ethereum classic and maybe that will help put your mind at some ease when it comes to the whole fork fiasco i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please smash that thumbs up button if you dislike this video for any reason go ahead and drop a dislike button just Give me a comment. Let me know how I could have turned that thumbs down around in my next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and flick that alert bell. That way you get a notification every time I upload a video and you're not left in the dark. All right, guys. Thank you and have a day. Not an expert.